Okay, we've got the 15th anniversary of 9-11. I remember vividly that day because I woke up, I fell asleep on the couch, woke up at about 4.30 in the morning. I already had the television on Channel 2. Mornings on 2 was on the news show. And in my face was something I couldn't believe that World 1 was on fire. I thought it was just a common fire that they would put out, right? It turned into something more. And that was one of the most horrifying days of my life. The other most horrifying day of my life was my stepfather died of prostate cancer. And my biological dad died of prostate cancer as well in the same year. But I digress. The point that I'm making is 9-11 will have, has had a dramatic impact on my life and will forever. In that context, we have the national anthem protests, rightly so, because of police brutality against black men, okay? And the two, sadly, will clash on Sunday. But here's my thought on that entire situation. It's appropriate to protest the national anthem, but I think on 9-11, I give it a rest. And the only reason I say that is because of the fact that it will be misconstrued as disrespecting those who saved lives during 9-11, those people who also went to try and comfort those and they were caregivers to those who suffered in 9-11, not just in New York or Washington or Pennsylvania, but just throughout the United States, the emotional shock and toll the event took on a number of people. The problem with the Protest Act is that it becomes perturbated to whatever the person doing the protest wants it to mean. For example, nothing gets... Megan Rapino, but she did not mention the plight of black men and police brutality. She mentioned gay issues. That's not the idea. Because you don't have somebody gay being brutalized by the police who can say, oh, I can see that from miles away you're gay. No. It's a different problem. And so for Megan to do what she did, I believe, I feel, was completely irresponsible. It was also cowardly. Because if she really wants to take a stand and continue the conversation the way Colin Kaepernick intended and others support, then she should have focused on black men first. She didn't do that. And as you can tell by my energy in expressing my displeasure with why she did what she did, you can't get people to exactly agree. So on 9-11, I think what we should do is just have one message of unity and move forward. And then, okay, next week we go back to the protest. But here's the problem. Again, we are not solving the societal problems that are giving rise to these feelings. The protest becomes a thing unto itself. Once again, it becomes a thing unto itself. And so, as great as these actions are at bringing awareness, we have to come up with real solutions and stop do, using the protests as a proxy for the need for real changes in the law.